Crispy at the Saskatoon Public Library. I'm alone in the story room and you'll never guess what time it is. Ukulele story time. I'm here to teach you some ukulele. Do you have a ukulele at home? The library has a few videos. If you haven't watched any, you can go and check out our YouTube channel. There's a whole bunch of them. Today, we're gonna play This Old Man. Do you know that song? We're coming to you from Treaty 6 territory, homeland of the Métis. And I'm very excited to be here because This Old Man's one of my favorite songs. It's a counting song, it has numbers. And the library has this cool book called This Old Van. If you wanted to find a storybook that had this song in it, this one's pretty close. They use different words, but it's the same melody. So you could sing along with this storybook. Oh, it's by Kim Norman and illustrated by Carolyn Cohen. Interesting, hey? So that's This Old Van. But today we're playing This Old Man. Now, on my ukulele, I'm going to play two chords. That's all there is in this song, two chords. Isn't that fantastic? So if you remember, bottom string is string one, string two, what's next? String three, string four, okay? There's our strings. And up at the top, this is fret one, fret two, fret three. That's where most of our chords happen. So for F, we're going to play, we're going to put our finger on the first, first fret, second string, and we're going to press down hard. See how it changes? And the fourth string, second fret. There's our F. That makes the first chord we need to know. The second chord is C7. Do you know the chord of C? Chord of C is right here. First, ooh, excuse me, first string, third fret, first finger. But for C7, we put it down in the first fret. So C7 sounds like that compared to C. So we're up here. Okay, you ready? So those are all the chords we need. Let's just tilt this a little bit more. There we go, so you can see the top. Okay, so those are the only chords we need, F and C7. Now what about strumming? Well, there's a couple ways to strum. We can start by just strumming one plain note. This old man, he played one, he played knick-knack on my, change to C7, thumb with a, back to F, knick-knack, paddywhack, give a dog a bone, back to C7. This old man came rolling home. So that's just one note, but now we can go up and uh, up and down, ready? This old man, he played two, he played knick-knack on my shoe with a knick-knack paddywhack, give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. That's up and down. Now, can we go twice as fast with our strum, not the song, just with our strum, ready? This old man, he played three, he played knick-knack on my knee. With a knick-knack, paddywhack, give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. So that's pretty straight sounding. Up, down, up, down, one and two and one and two and. But we can bounce it up a little bit. This old man, oh. Let's try again. We can bounce it up a little bit. Is that very, very fast? Let's try slower. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. All I mean is I'm pressing, I'm strumming in a down action and then up. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. This old man, he played four. He played knick-knack on my door with a knick-knack paddywhack. Give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. That's pretty good. 
down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, C7, down, up, up, down, up, F, down, up, up, down, up, C7, down, up, up, down, up, F, down, up, up, down, up, down. Now, let's go back to a little bit simpler strumming, and we're going to get extra fancy. We're going to use our thumb, and we're going to pluck the first string. Pluck, strum, pluck, strum, pluck, strum, pluck, strum. This old man, he played six. He played knick-knack on my sticks with a knick sticks with a knick knack patty whack give a dog a bone this old man went rolling home one more time this old man he played seven he played knick knack up to heaven with a knick knack patty whack give a dog a bone this old man went rolling home. So we've just been plucking that first string, but what happens if we alternate? I mean, this is string four. We've been plucking string four. So what happens if we alternate string four, string three? Four, three, four, three, four, three. Four, three. This old man, he played eight. He played knick-knack on my gate. With a knick-knack paddywhack, give a dog a bone. This old man went rolling home. Is that all right? This old man, he played nine. He played knick-knack on my spine. With a knick-knack paddywhack, give a dog a bone. This old man went rolling home. <laughs> Sometimes it even takes me a while to find the right chord. Phew, that's a lot of work. Shall we try a fast strum again? Ready? This old man, he played ten. He played knick-knack on my pen. With a knick-knack paddywhack, give a dog a bone. This old man went rolling home. Sometimes to finish a song, I like to back up a chord and then come forward again. So this old man came rolling home. It was hard to jump in there. With a knick-knack paddywhack, give a dog a bone. This old man went rolling home. Big finish. Should we do it again? Let's do 10 again. This old man, he played 10. He played knick-knack on my pen with a knick-knack pad back. Give a dog a bone. This old man went rolling home. That's it. Now you know how to play this old man and this old van and this old plan. Lots of things. I also sometimes Here's a sneaky trick. Sometimes I use songs about chores. So maybe I'm practicing my ukulele, but it's time to do something else. I might say to my kids, Hey, these two kids, they washed the dishes. They washed the ditches and they did get itches. With a knick-knack paddywhack, give a dog a bone. These old kids did the dishes. Singing makes everything better. I hope you have a better day. I hope it was good to begin with, but now I hope it's great. Thanks for joining me at the Saskatoon Public Library for Ukulele Storytime. See you next time, friends. Goodbye.